imagine the third world, fourth world, the Amazon tribes that still believe that a camera can steal your soul. And I always thought that was ridiculous until I did the man show. <laughs> So me and Rogan, are we having to write monologues for the man show up at his fucking palatial Scarface estate before I head back to my one bedroom. And we're trying to write these fucking monologues and trying to write them funny enough that they're us, but dumb enough that they'll get on TV and dumb's always winning. And he's going, I got the DMT, you want to try it? And I go, fuck it, let's do it. And so I smoke this shit and I'm literally immediately blown into the center of the universe. And I'm there and I'm honestly watching all information being so sucked through a black hole as data. It's all being sucked as data in several lines being sucked. And I understand the meaning of life and I understand what it's all... Everything. I, I know everything and it's true. It's a, That's why... The, the difference between a good drug and a bad drug is a bad drug the ideas that you have while you're doing it wear off the next day. And a good drug, that stays with you. You can get fucked up, drink all sorts of tequila, and you your mind to go, Fuck it, dude, let's dive down to Central America! Why not? Fuck it! That comic said quit your job, and you know what? He touched him, and he's over the fucking... And then you get to the fucking halfway past Juarez, and you're fucking sucking a donkey dick to get back. Oh, what did I do? I mean, I didn't really... And that's bad, but a good drug, like, you can do acid, and you fucking have fucked up thoughts, and you're watching your dog, and you, you swear he's communicating through you, to you with just mere eye contact, and, and, and uh, it's, it's true, but even when the drug wears off, you never look at the dog the same way again, you're like, you know the motherfucker, all right. watching all this information and I know the meaning of life it's rope and, and it's a ten minute trip and I come out of it and rope gets big fucking head of it. <laughs> and I knew everything in the world and I had to go back to writing man show models <laughs> How about a junkie joke here? It was very interesting. <laughs> the point is, they should be working on some shit you don't need to know about life. Like a lot of your conspiracies, Alex, knowing doesn't help. It's just some bullshit that, yeah, if you want to find all the bullshit in the world, go talk to some chicks. I said, yeah, no, honey, that's just a fucking birthmark. <laughs> you know, you might uncover a fucking conspiracy, but it's not going to make really... I'm just saying some of them. I, said, I get into that shit, you're like, oh, this is fucked up. But and then you go, this is angry. And then I was uh, just uh, angry. I wasn't enjoying life at all. I'm just always angry. That fucked up, that's fucked up. But... Most of it doesn't really matter when you get a fucking go hump boxes at the UPS. <laughs> Some of it does. Saying we need to work on having more fun. We need more drugs, more places to do drugs, better places to drink. Can we drink somewhere that's not just a fucking bass music and a fucking golf machine and an electronic cardboard? How about drinking a uh, bar at a go kart track? Like, hey, let's go get a fucking. Or just anything that makes my life less boring. I'm running out of ideas and I'm only 37 and I'm bored all the time. Let's make it weird. You, you know what you ladies need? More holes. Can you work on that? Possibly a few more holes. Is there anywhere I haven't stuck my dick yet? I'm running out of ideas. I'm not as creative as you might think. Cloning. Good thing. Well, no. Medical science isn't advanced enough. We could have mutations. Perfect. Mutations. Maybe you spit out a little uh, genetically altered girl baby out of your, your otherwise barren womb. And she shows up with the 44 holes all over her body. And you go, it's a mistake. And I go, no, it's perfect. Write that recipe down, Jackson, because now a long-term commitment is a viable option. And you told that to our part, do us part with the 44 holes. It's going to take a long way to, long time to play through on that course. Give me a card to candy, baby, because I don't... Right? Mutations are good. They had this fucking two-headed baby. Hang on, I have to check the time so I can close appropriately. Ooh, this might be it. There's this two-headed baby. 
Not the one three days ago. There's been five two-headed babies that they brought to the States to try to separate because these doctors are evidently, we have good two-headed baby doctors. And all these two-headed babies are coming from fucking the Central America, but they're good. I mean, I appreciate a two-headed baby. The Siamese twins, not the Hackney ones, the old ones, I'm bored, but these, the ones you see in fucking Guinness Book where they're attached at the liver and boring. Yeah, boring. Hack, freak. <laughs> It's like having a bearded lady baby. Come on, I've seen it a million times. Shave it, bring me something new. But the last two, the last one three days ago was like a fucking push me, pull you one, where it's the, the, the two heads are the feet at opposite end. And it's like, a, you know. But there was the one three, three months ago, it was a, a, the most beautiful, unique, and unprecedented two headed baby. Give me one clap if you know the one, this one, the Woo! one that talk. The top head is coming out of the bottom. The bottom head is like a. Come on, it's beautiful. It's, like a, it's a girl. Totem pole head, girl baby. It's like a townhouse head. And, it's a, and they bring it to the States to try to separate it. You know, don't separate it even alone. How fucking happy would I be to meet her at the end of the night? What am I going to try to. Oh, you could fuck a girl from the Yellow Rose. I did that. It went, yeah, at the end of the night, I was just poor and I could have fucking jacked and had the same effect with it. But a two headed townhouse, top head, duplex headed baby, that would be something I would carry for life. And you never want out me, motherfucker. But they try to cut it apart and play God, and they killed both of them. And you go, fuck it, you fucking leave it alone. They, they had to cut it apart. I mean, when you hear the story, you understand, because the top head had an underdeveloped brain. And they had to try to cut top head off. Well, they had to cut top head off if they're cutting one anyway. It's not, it's not like you can cut off the bottom head and move the top one down. That's, that's just showboating in the old OR, right? But, but the top head had, a, it had little formed eyes and lips, but the fucking brain was, yeah! Yeah, it's gone. So, and you can't do that to the low head. That's just wrong. I mean, you get. I mean, I have friends who work with the developmentally disabled, but that's eight hours a day on their own accord, and that's fucking stressful enough. But you can't just fucking paste a retard right onto someone's head for their whole life without their consent, because that's. I mean, this is a little girl trying to grow up and just read a Nancy Drew mystery when she's 12 years old with a fucking banana head up here. And now I'll never fucking have any chance of meeting that upstairs, downstairs headed girl on the end of my show. DVD for you, that's free, my little lovely ladies. <laughs> Fuck you, you wouldn't do that one time. Your last call at fucking emos and all fucking hot chicks, she's long since dumpy for being a fucking. New you wouldn't get at least some mouth love in the toilet from a fucking two-headed, top-headed, top-hat-headed girl, baby. Just to say you had that menage a trois that you always wanted. They don't have to know the details. You just, they were twins. That's all I'm saying, dude. They're twins. I don't want to tell, but... You'd have, to, you'd have to get the blowjob in the upside down position with you on top. Is that way your balls would muffle the cries of the retarded one? Because you can't get a nut in a public arena. You just try to concentrate. I gotta hurt before someone comes in. So you got this spastic down there. They're going to go to swing sets. They need to swing set. So you get it on top like this. Orthodox 69, I mean the uh, kneeling position, just standing there, because then you get the fucking rubber head looking up at you on the wall line. <laughs> Do you like my sister? No! Of course I like 
your sister. Look down. All right, I gotta go. We got fucking drinking to do in other places. I'll see you out front if you want that new CD. Thank you very much. Take them home for nothing. Money, fucking uh, Brendan, Matt, uh, yeah, me and Doug are the outside. I hope you see it. Sell CDs, he'll sign it. We'll chat about the evening. Uh, fuck, thank you guys. Good night. Woo! Hi,